Buddy, are you a nature kind of guy? No, I'm not. <laughs> so what are you doing here in Muir Woods? Because you got me here, Glenn. <laughs> you wanted to take the scenic shot? I didn't want to come to Muir Woods, Glenn. I'm not that type of person. So we're trekking up Muir Woods. I'm getting a heart attack. Right before this shot, folks, I want to tell you something. I was very social for the whole day. And then I went into my OC87 mode where I don't talk and I become asocial. And I, I noticed I started disconnecting from everybody and everybody like pulling away from me and everything. So I just sort of a treatment that my Asperger therapist taught me. I can't really say it right now because I'm with the crew and it'll ruin the, the inner relationship with the crew. But I'll tell you on a video diary at a later time. We'll cut to that video diary right now. <laughs> Social fake is a coping strategy I use when I'm in a bad mood, when I'm angry, when I'm irritable, when I'm tired, because I don't really like to talk to people when I'm in those moods. Well, I learned social fake from my Asperger's therapist, and I used it in Mirror Woods because I was getting very tired at that time of the shoot. It was about 5 o'clock, and we had been flying all morning, and I knew I had to go out at night, and I just about lost it. And I didn't want to lose it with the crew and start getting angry at them, so I started to employ social fake. And that's where I uh, go at the flow and keep the conversation moving at a good pace, at an appropriate pace. I make eye contact with people when it's appropriate. And it's a way to just stay connected even when you don't want to stay connected. The reason I didn't want to talk about this in Mirror Woods is because I felt the crew would see me as a phony, that they would doubt I was being sincere with them, that they would reject me. That's why I didn't want to do it in Mirror Woods. <laughs>